Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Let's play the Ironclad Ascension Level 12. I think this is where we left off. I'm going to assume it was, and not even bother checking. Take 21 damage, choose a rare card. Yes. Yes. Give me Immolate. Give me Demon Form. Even Reaper. Like, we can build into a Strength deck. A Strength deck? We can build into a Strength deck and then use Reaper to get our health back, so I, I I like it. It's probably not worth 21 HP right now, but over the course of the entire run, it will be. It will be. So I like it. And I also like this path. One upgrade before Elites, and then one uh, camp right before the Elite. We have the possibility of bailing, if we need to, of upgrading, of resting, I kind of like that little, that little line. That's a horrible turn. There goes our burning blood heal. Hey, that that's just gonna happen sometimes. I also can't kill you with a reaper strike. <laughs> I really wish I could kill you with a reaper strike, but whatever. Thunderclap, clothesline, shrug it off. Thunderclap reaper is pretty tempting, but I think shrug is just more universally good. This sucks because these are all good relics and this is the bad time for a shop, but I will take an Inflame and we'll try to lean into strength as we progress here. Especially on a turn like this, like... Oh. Yeah, give me a give me a heal for 12. I'll take 7. It's a net heal for 5 and you're both killable. Yeah, that's, that's totally worth it. Okay. Okay. I like it. One in flame might be all we need to really kind of start balling out of control. I don't really like these. Even Hemokinesis. I'd rather not lose the health. I mean, technically we can heal back. We can heal back. I'm gonna take it. I'm Because I thought about it and I realized early we're probably okay taking a little bit of damage, right? What are you doing, 12? Early, we're probably okay taking a little bit of damage just so that we can kill enemies without taking damage ourselves on their attacks, and then we can just heal it back later. I mean, we're at 69 HP, it's perfect. Rampage, Clothesline, Warcry. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Rampage, even if it's not something that's gonna be a critical component of our run. I like it early. Especially for long fights, even boss fights, it's pretty nice. You're gonna make me vulnerable, which I hate. Take 13. 12 damage. I'm gonna hope to kill you next turn. Here comes your big hit, though. And I do have you. And I'm not even going to worry about the heal. I'm just going to make sure you die. Disarm, Carnage, and Trench. All good. Not that good against the elites on the floor, though. So I'm going to take a Carnage. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to build the run such that it can kill the elites that we're going to be fighting here. And then hopefully that'll mean that I can take less damage and then I can maybe get some upgrades done when I otherwise might not be able to. That's my plan. You know? One strength up on turn one, it's not that bad. What kind of a horrible sound was that? It sounds like someone made a mistake in the the Foley artistry for the, the, the card there. I know, I know, I'm playing defense, but I want to take as little damage as possible, and you're dead next turn anyways. That's not a bad fight. Double tap is beautiful, fits any deck. I'm even gonna play that team of Kinesis. To get you low, feel, uh, this is perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh god, you have such... You have so high health. <laughs> I should have played Carnage. Oh no. 
I think I've made a, a horrible, horrible mistake letting these guys live. I should have just killed them with carnage. How much, uh, how much health did I gain from them? 12? We gained 12 health, I think? Hopefully I can kill them fast enough. We're gonna take another four. We also lost Carnage because I didn't play it, which was very unfortunate. I can't kill you! You bastards! I hate it. I hate it. I should have just played Carnage. I think we've lost I think we've lost more health than we gained earlier, so that was a mistake. But hey, you know what? Sometimes sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to, and that's okay. I will take Nunchuck. I think that's pretty good, especially with a double tap. I will heal instead of removing a card that way we can upgrade before the next elite. Why? Why does it got to be you? I should have upgraded before I played the block. What are we doing? That was a mistake. That's fine. We'll save the upgrades for when we get uh, some better blocks. Or maybe for this turn, so I can kill you. Yeah, that seemed to work pretty well. That was a good use of that potion. A better use of that potion, in fact. A better use! I thought I had more energy for some reason. <laughs> and I definitely do not. That's a little slow, but like, whatever. It's gotta get out at some point. Do 11 and then like another 13. So we'll do like 24, it's not enough to kill. So we'll just go slow. Go slow. Try to take as little damage as possible. Did I play Carnage or did, did that exhaust? I forget. Close line, Twin Strike, Sword Boomerang. I like a Twin Strike. I, I like the fact that it's targetable, unlike Sword Boomerang. And uh, it works well with the uh, in flame that we have. It's not bad. And I went for the True Grid upgrade so that we can target it, which I think is gonna be very helpful. Because we, we don't really care for a lot of the attacks that we have in our deck, the strikes and the, uh, well, the strikes really. And sometimes Hemokinesis, they can go. Oh, I had extra energy. They can go so that we can like, uh, get the rampage a little bit more frequently. So we have no block. Uh, I, I can kill you or I could heal for 12 and then kill you both next turn. It's worth more to heal for 12. So we're gonna do that. We'll take 10 and then hopefully heal for six. We'll be at 70. 76 HP would be beautiful. And we get Sneko Oil Potion. That's a, that's a risky one. I'll take another shrug. Lagavulin, you are not bad. We're just gonna wait for Inflame. Or we're gonna play Carnage, because if we don't, it's gone forever. So, hello, Carnage. Hello, Carnage, my new friend. I'm gonna Sneko. We're gonna get enough low-cost cards that I think we'll be happy. No low-cost defense, though. Um... Although a double tap Reaper is a heal for eight. So it's like a block for eight and then we can strike. Although it's not a block for eight because eight for because we had full health. So that was dumb. I seem to regularly forget that you act oh, I have extra energy! I seem to regularly forget that we actually do have 
um, a limit to our health. <laughs> we don't have a, we don't have a feed. It's not like we have infinite HP on this one. That's uh, okay. I like an intimidate. I like a free weakness. And I'm not gonna rest. We're just gonna go straight for an upgrade here. I will take an inflame. Extra strength might help on this combat in particular. I kind of hate the hemokinesis right now, but I think it, it, it helped earlier, and I hope it's going to continue helping. Slime crush. Nope. Fair. Fair enough. You're doing 36 damage, huh? Well, I guess I'm going to let you do 36 damage. No, I'm not. I hate those squishy sounds from the uh, the fight here. I can put I can put out the torches. <laughs> That's cool. Um, because I'm gonna strike you. I hope you don't attack again. Okay, thank you. Thirteen damage. I'd rather hit you with a big attack next turn to split you. All right. Well. It was bigger, so I'll take it. Reaper. We gotta play it. I, I, I think if we don't play it, we die. But it is a heal for 15, which is pretty damn good. And in fact, we can also toss the explosive potion if we have to. But I don't think we have to. I think we're better off... Blocking? And if we have to play it, we can play it, but... I don't think we have to play. I think we'll be fine. As long as we're not weak, one attack can kill each one of these guys, so... Oh, although, you know what? We gotta split you. I remember the extra energy this time. So, 7744. Four. They're all attacking. And I think if we don't use this, we're dead, so... There you go! Good explosive potion! <laughs> Bludgeon, limit break, corruption. Oh, man. What a choice. Why do you gotta give me this choice? We only have one strength card, and Limit Break is Overkill. Corruption would allow us to get through our cards faster. Especially if we don't get energy, it's kinda nice to have. Uh, Bludgeon is just 32 damage, it's fantastic. Um... Limit Break is useless if we draw it before Inflame. Corru we, we need more strength. Corruption is good, but expensive. We need to upgrade it. Bludgeon to get a KO on, a, on an enemy unit, maybe if they're vulnerable. I think I'll take it. I, I, think, I think that gives us the best chance on the next floor, specifically. And God, I hate this, but I think we will take Slaver's Caller. I, I hate Runic Dome. I, I I took it last, not last time, but I took it recently, and it was just miserable not being able to see anything. So I think I'll uh, I think I'll take uh, Slaver's Collar, and maybe we'll fight a couple of elites here. We'll see. We might bounce around though, but we'll start here. Fantastic. You love taking twelve damage without no, without no block. <laughs> I ain't got no block. Do, 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 do. Well, I do have extra energy on this turn, so I'm gonna double bash and then put out some block. Bludgeon? Yeah, expected that. We're taking, we're taking a lot of damage. You're dead, but we're taking a lot of damage. Uh, man, I hate not getting extra energy. I really hate not getting extra energy. You know, maybe we'll just go heavy on the elites. We have the capability of doing that now. And uh, get rid of some garbage strikes. Upgrade a card. I will upgrade! Probably a double tap. 
Anything that helps me get kills faster, I like. Why do you gotta give me this on turn one? I can't, can't play the bludgeon, he's not vulnerable. We don't have any like, we, we don't currently have in this deck any way of quote unquote popping off. We have no way of, of gaining significant advantages in a fight that can allow us to outscale the enemies. We don't have good cards for it and we don't have good energy for it. 10, 20, it's not even close to enough. I guess I'm gonna take 18 damage. So uh, you might get away with my gold, let's see. No, well, I'll kill you. Heal for six at least. Immolate. Now we at least have a way of doing insanely good damage on turn one, which is fantastic. We're gonna rest. And I don't I don't know if I feel better with this immolate. I hate this though. This is not what we're looking for. I don't know if I feel better with the immolate, but maybe we can try it. Let's fight an elite. This is the wrong elite. What are you doing to me, game? <laughs> At least we got extra energy. I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna try to kill you in two turns. So there you go. We took 14 and then healed for six. Honestly, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. I'll take another emulate. Okay, I, under I understand the deck now. <laughs> the deck is uh, clearly you play emulate when you get emulate and then you emulate all the enemies, which I'm a, I'm a big fan of, admittedly. I like that, I, I can appreciate that. I'm gonna actually heal again. I hate that. Good lord. <laughs> I don't want to take this much damage. Um, okay, you know, I'll take an offering. Now I'll kill you. And I'll kill you. Alright, that was a great offering. <laughs> Combust, thunderclap, dropkick. I'll take a Thunderclap, because Thunderclap emulates pretty good. And honestly, I, I want to fight the Elites. Why not? It's like double tap twin strike strike gives us one energy so that we can play one hemokinesis. So it's a like double tap twin strike strike hemo. How much damage does uh does that do? 21. I think <laughs> Sure? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh, man. Okay. Immolate doesn't actually get a kill here, but we do have another Immolate coming up, so I'm like, Shrug? Reaper? And then an Immolate gets two kills next turn if we get an Immolate, and if we don't, hopefully we can just block 30, which we can't, but uh, hey, you never know. Yeah, I think I played this a little too slowly. But that's okay. Just just draw Immolate. I, I keep trying to play Reaper, and it keeps failing miserably. I'm, I'm realizing now that's not how I should be playing this. We need to play Immolate whenever it shows up. I'll take another Shrug, and I am going to fight the Elite. I, I think we can. I think we have a deck that makes it work. There you go. Beautiful. Like, when you get the draw, everything goes beautifully. <laughs> if you don't get the draw, you're, uh, you're left wanting. We'll take a demon form. And I, I honestly think we need to keep upgrading. An upgraded de demon form into a reaper seems pretty good. We should upgrade the blocks. Um, we could also dig and We should probably dig next floor, to be honest with you. Here, I think we should probably upgrade the demon form. 
Okay. I'm feeling better at, about things, kind of. A little bit of a waste of energy. I'm not gonna play Hemo. Uh, we need to get rid of that card at this point, I think. Intimidate, shrug, demon form. There we go. That's our, our win condition here. Reaper, we can probably save. We'll play it later when it can heal us for like 50. Get rid of a defend, I don't want it. You call that a weapon? Nah, these are my weapons, lefty and righty. I'm getting my own strength. His turn's gonna suck, but... I'm not gonna block for five. You're buffing yourself. You're not healing yourself though, which is good. You're still not healing yourself. I hate that we drew both shrugs on that turn. That seems to happen so much lately. You get the, the good block draws on the turn that you don't need block and you're just left frustrated by the bad draw that you had. I hate it. We're alive though. We are alive. I can immolate. I can heal for 25. And you're probably dead because we have 24 strength now. Thank you. All right, so, hey, not bad. And now we can probably take a limit break. A corruption is also tempting so that we can get more value out of our energy, but I'll just take a limit break. And we're gonna take Sneko, because our deck is very expensive. So, there you go, there's Sneko. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for Sneko, honestly. We have an expensive as heck deck. So we have to go here. We can go, we can go through any path up to this elite. I kind of like, oh my god, we have to fight one elite. If we go up here, we have to fight two. Are we okay fighting two elites? Ugh, um, I'd rather not, but we do have reapers, so you never know. Oh sure, okay, okay, give me a demon form. Give me a shrug. Give me a... Inflame. And an immolate. We can still heal off of you. So, it's a very good deck right now for healing. I still think a true grid is good enough. It's a good block that gets rid of garbage. The true power of this deck right now is healing. We just killed you in one turn. I'm gonna skip those. Smiling mask, cheap card removal. We're only gonna visit two more shops. It's probably not worth it. I'm just gonna take the key. Paper Frog is very good. Shockwave is also very good. And it's cheap. So I'm gonna take Shockwave and I'm gonna take Paper Frog. Ah. Chat, give me a reality check. Abe is fighting on Orb Walker. Is, uh, so if anyone watching the stream is a little bit out of sync, try refreshing. Right now in chat, the message says, Mmm, Froggy, damn, my poor eyes thought that was Oracalcum. That's what I just read in chat. It was not Oracalcum. It is Paper Froggy. Paper Frog's pretty good, though. Matching game. I don't want to match anything. No, I, I don't want it. Maybe in Trench, but we didn't get it. We didn't even have the option. Giant head. Giant head! I'm gonna say it, he does not scare me. He does not scare me. We do, uh, we do a lot of damage with single hits. Which I guess is not ideal necessarily when you're going up against a big giant head! 
we gotta play Carnage, which means we're not gonna be playing Reaper. Should have played the defend, I should have calculated the energy. Demon form. Yeah, this is acceptable. We only had the one attack anyways. Legend does 61 damage, huh? Okay, how about this? Block, double tap, bludgeon. 73, 79. It's pretty good. Oh, I was kind of hoping for a Reaper, but that's fine. Dude, this is a, oh, ice cream is so good. This is a, a great run right now. I kind of like it. I also think Rage is a totally accept acceptable card. I know it costs zero, but even if it costs zero, I think it's still good. You can get free block by playing your attacks, which are usually worth it because they're very good attacks because they're so damn expensive. Well, you just, you immolate, so there you go. I would, I would love a Vyra, so uh, Limit Break could hit it initially. That's okay. 3, 28. We're gonna take, uh, I would I would argue this is a, a buttload of damage. Yeah, it's probably a buttload. I would, I would call it a buttload. It's a big old buttload right there. You're doing 62 damage, huh? I really wish you wouldn't. And by 62, I mean 32 damage. <laughs> There's demon form. We gotta kill you. If, if we can't stall on you, I'm okay trying to kill you. And we'll heal later. Potion belt is very nice. Feed we don't need. Perfected strike. We have enough expensive cards. I don't need another expensive attack. We have to fight this Burning Elite though, which is very unfortunate. Meal Ticket is a heal on the next floor. Let's remember that, we don't need a rest. This is like, very good. Okay. <laughs> this is a great fight to stall on for Reaper. So if we can, if we can make that happen, I'm gonna try to stall as much as possible. Actually gonna dump the rampage. They might try to attack me when they come back. We just gotta get demon form out there and then we're okay. We can heal up. This is not demon form, but it does kill the enemy that was attacking me, so I'm okay with it. Where's my demon form? I will stall. I will stall the crap out of this fight. There's my demon form, yes. Yes, my demons, yes! Hate this, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna play two attacks. That was dumb. I don't have the energy for this anymore. Just play the defend. Count your losses. Okay, you guys are doing 40 damage. Turns out that's kind of a lot. Um, don't kill me. I'm not gonna die, but I don't like it. So I'll at least knock you out. Still taking like almost 30. But as long as we wait for like a decent Reaper, which I think is now. We can heal for 42. All right, I'm happy with that. Cleave, Ghostly Armor, Twin Strike. We need more blocks, but I'd rather just remove the garbage attacks that we have in the deck. Your four strength up. It means, yeah, it means your multi-hit is gonna suck. Lucky that's so cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. I did, ha like, get you down by half. It's pretty good.
probably weaken and um, that's free and uh, I don't even want another weaken I'm just gonna try to kill you as soon as I can I said I was gonna kill you as soon as I can how so I can't go back on my word now Blood Angel, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I play this game, but I'm bad, lol. Everyone's bad. <laughs> hey, we got Duvu Doll, though. That's pretty good. Duvu Doll. And I will take a Corruption. We won't play it early on fights, but maybe later on fights. On this fight, we're going to play it early. If we draw it early. Give me the... Give me the defend. It's an expensive defend. I'm gonna double tap Reaper. I I ooh. I don't think. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! That <laughs> one comedian, thank you for the resub. For 18 months. Been a while, life's been busy, glad to see the new game rotation, aka the old game rotation, you should say. I'm gonna double tap the Reaper for healing. Because I think we have him on this turn, not doing any damage to us. Yeah, there we go. We only did 49 damage. Our damage was a little low, that's okay. Okay, I mean, I like Shockwave Carnage into a strike. With our strength growing, all we need is just a couple of attacks every turn and we're good. Even a like one bludgeon is totally good enough, so I guess I'll just guess I'll just play one bludgeon. What a garbage turn. <laughs> all expensive trash. Okay, 60 damage. Low cost, free. 31 damage times 2. Yeah, it's good enough. 80 HP? 80 HP is just fine by me. Blood for blood, war cry, fire breathing. I don't think we need more attacks. We need, if anything, more blocks. I don't want to add something like blood for blood. It's a good card because it fits the bill. We, that's a little overkill. That's also, I mean, good. It, it fits the bill because it um, it's good damage and it's, it's expensive, but we don't need it. We need other things right now. I'll dig. Stone Calendar is actually not bad. I think I'm gonna upgrade so that I can limit break. And with the strength up, we're just gonna hit. That's what we do. What a what a garbage turn this is though. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's our turn. <laughs> we play one card. Sure, why not? We do have six energy though. Give me a bash, true grit, and uh, give me an immolate. We're not gonna have to deal with the burns for too long. We're gonna outpace him a little. A little too quickly for that. And honestly, here, I, I could play a Corruption, but I'm just gonna double tap the Immolate. That way he heals, and if we don't wanna play anything next turn, we don't have to. Just gonna play that. Um, okay. This is a, this is an okay Corruptibility. I like it because it saves our energy. We can play the cards that we have. It's not bad. Limit break, carnage. Doesn't quite kill you. This does kill you. And we don't need to worry about health because we're gonna heal at the campfire anyways with uh, Eternal Feather. And we also have the heal from Meal Ticket. We're very much over healing now at this point, but that's okay. And we have Entropic Brew with four Potion slot, which, pl slots, which is beautiful. 
Digger Smith. Um, what would we smith? Shrug, shrug, rage, shockwave. Ah, I hate to do this, but there you go. Oh, you know, bottled lightning. What would we put in our hand? You know, now, now that I think about it, there's nothing good. <laughs> no, there is shockwave. Okay, I'll put shockwave in our hand. That's pretty good. Limit break would only be one energy. Now, I gotta admit, a bottled flame immolate kills the crap out of the enemies we're about to fight, but there's also incense burner. This is a tough call. There's also a disarm. If we bought, we cannot buy disarm and the bottle. But here's, here's what I like. If we bottle immolate, Turn one, we can shockwave immolate. And against the elites, that would do a lot of damage. It might put them in a position where we could actually kill one of them quickly. But if we stall in the fight, we can probably get to Reaper. Incense Burner is good. <sighs> We're not gonna have it until six turns into this fight though. We have two immolates, we have a bludgeon. I'm gonna... <sighs> We have enough attacks and we draw seven cards turn one. I, I'll go for Incense Burner. It's a tough call though. It is honestly a tough call. Because half the time when I fight these elites, I, I take a ton of damage. The early damage output from an Immolate could be extreme, but we could also just get an Immolate randomly. You never know. We did. We can't play it. It's too expensive. <laughs> damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, that's so not great. But, um. Hey, we can play Defend. So if we Shockwave... Oh, man. Immolate Carnage doesn't even come close. I think you just Shockwave True Grit. You'll have extra energy on the next turn as well. They'll be weak, too. We'll also take no damage, which is pretty good. You're exhausting anyways. That's a that's not good rolls on the on the energy values from those, but that's fine. Okay, demon form has to be played. I think you save your energy at this point. We're gonna heal with Reaper later. Tick 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 tick. Yeah, we're gonna we're getting hit. I know. Um, we could corruption. Might be a little early for that though. Honestly, I'm okay killing one. It's gonna make the blocks easier to deal with in the future. And we're not gonna get debuffed. So now that there's only one left, if we have to stall, I think we should stall. I think that's worth it. Um, and you know what? We might as well hit you for 44, just to get you lower. We're gonna still try to heal, but if we need to kill you, we can. And we have to kill you. We have no blocks, and I'm not gonna take 48 damage and then try to come back from that, it's too much. Didn't draw a Reaper. Still, 71 HP is perfectly fine. We have a lot of potions available. We're gonna definitely take Impervious. Right. We're in Tangible turn one. This is the worst turn for intangibility, but there was nothing really we could do about that. Deal damage equal to the cards in your hand. Put three random attacks from your draw pile into your hand. This doesn't draw them, so it's probably not going to work the way we want it to. I just kind of, I kind of want to get rid of strikes. I think we'll take a purity, and I think I'll just pop and drop and brew. Gain the dex. Uh, we'll play distilled chaos on the next turn, I think. For now, give me a shockwave. Intimidate for one more turn. We're gonna purity the defends, or the, sorry, the strikes, because we don't care about them. And I will take plated armor, and we will end turn. If we distilled chaos a block card, we would prefer to draw it on this turn. So we have to play this. We don't have Centennial Puzzle. We're going to Distilled Chaos. 
do a Void, a Defend, and an Inflame. That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. The problem is, is that if we... I'm okay with this turn. If we play Corruption, we run out of skills so extremely quickly, and we don't get value from exhausting them, I don't think we want to play them. What just garbage turn is this over and over again? I'm gonna attack you though. Did get extra energy. Like, I gotta hit you at some point. That's pretty good damage. We will kill you relatively quickly. I just need to make sure we can heal out of this. What a, what a great turn for Impervious, I love that. What a garbage draw. I think the draw is actually gonna kill us here. It's, it's so, it's so unbelievably bad. Now a heal for, you know, more than 26 seems pretty damn good. So, I think we're going to limit break. We have to heal, otherwise we're dead. True Grit, a defend, or sorry, a strike. Defend. Reaper for 52. Nearly a full heal. It buys us one more cycle, which should be enough. Just like, I would love blocks. I added a few to this deck. I, I think I did anyways. Well, if we can't block through it, then don't play any blocks. So, double tap. Bludgeon. You might as well immolate. Get him as low as you can. We also have Pen Nib, which is beautiful. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, a block. Hey, a block. Hey, a block. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I'm kind of hoping I can just kill the heart on the next turn. Thank you, Stone Calendar. We only need to hit him like twice. Sweet. Well, we did it. <laughs> Incense Burner did nothing. Yeah, Incense Burner, it was offset by one on the heart fight, so it did nothing. It didn't even help us at all on the fight against the elites, which is the funny part. We should have bought innate inter, uh, immortal flame. What is the card? Ah, I forget what it's called. You know the one I'm talking about. Anyways, we won. Uh, it was very close. The deck was a, a, a mess, but because of the fact that we had ice cream and Sneko Eye, we were able to get enough high value cards that we were able to kill the heart before it could kill me. It, it was basically just a rush down fight. And it worked. <laughs> we got lucky that we had Limit Break, Reaper healing us for 52. The block was garbage. We did not get the right blocks when we needed it. And we also didn't get the attacks when we needed it. Like when the heart was attacking, we got attacks. When the heart was not doing anything, when it was buffing itself, we drew you know, impervious and three statuses. So a bit of luck, a bit of not luck, but uh, it worked out. It, it did what I wanted it to do, which was buff strength, double strength, heal, and then all the damage cards were able to kill the heart before it killed me. An annoying set of draw, but it worked. And uh, yeah, not that bad. We took 147 damage over eight turns and we didn't even have to use the healing potion. That tells you just how much we healed and just how much damage we took on that fight. So that was kind of absurd, but it worked. Hey, for now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Slay the Spire.